As a reminder, your task for while you watch 1421 is to be considering the arguments that Menzies and other experts put forth and determining whether or not you think that these are valid or invalid based upon the criteria that we went over on Friday and you can also find on the back of your worksheet. So what you're going to do is you are going to first read over the source or evidence column, that's the left column, to familiarize yourself with what you're looking for. Then you're going to go over to the right column, ignore the middle column initially. You're going to identify whether you think that section of information is either valid or invalid. Then you're going to explain why. So what kind of evidence did they give? If they gave experts that make you think it, maybe you want to list who they had as an expert. If they gave facts and evidence, you might want to list those facts and evidence. Once you've done that, you're going to turn it over and you're going to look at the criteria. So for example, if you think that it's valid or not valid, based on the expertise of the experts or presenters they're using, then you would put B in that middle column because it's going back to the qualifications of the presenter. If it's uh, relating to facts and evidence, then you'd put C because it's going back to what kind of information are they using to support their points. Here's an example. So if you look at the fourth one on your worksheet, it says the port of Taichung, which was a shipbuilding port, and the old rudder. So this is used as evidence of how large of an industry the shipbuilding industry was at China in the time. I thought that this was a valid argument. I found it convincing. So up in the top of that column on the right, I put valid. Then I listed some of the reasons why I felt it was valid. So they mentioned that 10,000 men were borrowed from the port to build a monument. 10,000 employees is a massive number of people. So to me, that tells me that this had to be a huge industry. There's also the size of the ships. They were several hundred feet long. These were big ships, and so you'd have to have a lot of people, but these are also going to be boats that are going to be more seaworthy if they're that large. Additionally, the ship supports to give workers access. That wood has been tested and determined to be several hundred years old. So this is something that was around at the time, so this, con this part of the argument convinces me. So this is something I would argue was a valid point, at least in my mind. Your job now is to make sure that your worksheet is complete, but I also want you, on your own paper, to follow the same format, and I want you to identify two more claims that are made today and two more that are made tomorrow. And I want you to determine whether you think those claims are valid or invalid, and then why. You'll be using this on Wednesday to write an essay, so make sure that you take good notes because that will help you write a good essay.